What's good YouTube, it's your boy Dante And I am back at it with another video Right by the title, today I'll just be bringing you all along with me Um, trying to sun fade, sun dye these clothes Whatever you want to call it I do have a hoodie out there already that's been sitting out there I'll probably record it, do whatever that do But yeah, I'm finna just Basically I'm gonna show y'all how I seen how to do it I'm gonna just bring y'all along with the process here are the clothes I'm going to be doing. It's just some sweaters and shit that I have not wore or wasn't planning on to wear. So I'm just trying to make, you know, turn them into something that I would want to wear. So yeah, I'm going to do a try on to show y'all what they look like on body or what they look like before getting absolutely destroyed by the sun. No, they're not going to get destroyed. The sun is going to make these clothes beautiful. So yeah, y'all, um, main things you're going to need for this is basically like a pot. You're going to need a pot that could fit at least a, a hoodie in. Um, a stick, something to like swish it around. And yeah, and then just a little bit of bleach. Y'all going to be seeing this because I'm about to go do it. Um, I'll come along, you know what I'm saying? Grab your snacks and uh... Yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing. Make sure to like the damn video, subscribe, and join the gang. Cause why not? But yeah. Let's get into it. But yeah. Alright y'all, so first thing, you need a pot, happy Halloween, I'm just playing, but you're gonna need a pot that could fit your hoodie, or whatever you're about to sun fade, you're gonna put it in your sink, don't mind the cookie, cookie pan, and you're gonna fill it up with water, so I'm gonna let this fill up, and I'll get back to y'all right when it's done. Alright y'all, just finished filling up, now you're gonna put it on your stove, and set that ting too high. I think that's right. You know, fuck it. It's gonna be eight or eight or high. I'm not sure. And then just gonna let it boil. And once it boils, once my water is boiling, I'll come back to y'all. All right, y'all. Um, while I let that water start boiling, um, realistically, the best way to do it is something I should have did over the summer. I don't know why I waited for fall. But something you, the best way to do it is really just like getting whatever, like whatever you're trying to sun fade and just throw it on your roof or like somewhere that like gets hella sun or like it's just beaming on it and just leave it there for like a month. That's like the best way, like you'll get the best results. But how I'm showing y'all and how, how I'm going to do it, um, it's like faster, which is what I need because... If I'm lucky, I'll have like two weeks to for the sun to be up or more. But yeah, so hope you guys are trying this little project with me. Hopefully it turns out good. So after the water boils and all that stuff, show y'all the next step. All right, y'all. So the water is boiled. Now you're going to get some bleach. Hold on. Just a little bit, cause you don't want you don't want whatever you're dying to be super bleached. It's not gonna look good. This just helps it a little bit. I don't know, honestly. I seen it in a video, so fuck it. But look, literally, yeah, it's kind of a lot, but something like that. Then let me find something like this. So you get the water and the bleach mixed. All right. Then whatever you're doing, just put it in there, and then make sure it's submerged. So like, 
the hot water and all that gets everywhere. I'm gonna show y'all a different angle. My bad for the glare or whatever, the shade. But, you know, I'm finna just let it sit in here for like, probably four minutes. Then, I advise when you're taking it out to get gloves, cause you don't want this, it's gonna burn. So get gloves, and then probably gonna put it on a hanger and hang it somewhere over there on a fence. So I'm gonna do that with this hoodie, or this sweater, and other ones, and then, Oh shit. And then when those are done, I'll show y'all B-roll of all of them hung up. And then I'll probably get back to y'all in like two weeks. It's gonna be a long time. But I'll see y'all when they're done. Well, it's good YouTube. Um, long time no see it's been like three weeks since last time i recorded uh the hoodies are done they're they're done for my liking um but yeah i'm finna just show you them real quick i'd say the uh, two of them really good and then the other two kind of yeah you'll see so the first one as you can see you see all like this little like the marks and stuff like it looks so cool bro it was just this just plain Uniqlo. Now I kind of like made it more dingier looking. Like it almost looks like tie dye. Like that shit is hard, bro. That shit is hard. But yeah, just this is the first one. I'll probably do it on body while I'm talking. Blah day, blah day. Um, next one is this zip up. Uh, yeah, you you could kind of see it. It kind of just got like more brownish. I'm not gonna lie, like a faded black, which is cool. It's not bad. Uh, I definitely think if I left them out, this, what I what I showed y'all do, if you leave them out for hella long, like when it's actually sunny, like summertime, it'll be way better as though. Just take this, the longer you leave it out, the better it will be. So I only left it out for like two, no, I think three to four weeks and the results were whatever, but if you leave them out there for like a month, it's gonna be immaculate. But yeah, just this, it just got like browner. Still cool though. I'd say this was the weakest one. Um, oh shit, no, it, it's alright, I don't know, but same with the other, the black jacket, it just got more like faded like black, like faded black and brown, this part was already on here, I think this was natural, cause I found it at the bins, I don't know, yeah, I just, it was a dollar, grabbed it, but yeah, this one's pretty, pretty gnarly, and then, uh, I wanna say my favorite, it is this grandpa looking United States. If you ask me why, one, you could already see, bro. Um, you see how, like, it's, like, super light in some areas and stuff? And then, like, the neck, bro, and then, like, the stitching and stuff, it just got darker. Like, this, it just got darker. If y'all know, I think it's, like, 1990, 1997 or something. The royal ones, like, you know how the laces look. Like, they're, like, purplish. That's kind of like what this neck looks like, and it reminded me of that. But yeah, now I'm definitely going to wear it, because it doesn't look like a plain old grandpa sweater. You know, it's pretty fire. I like this one a lot. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys um, did like this video. I know I haven't posted in like a month. I know I'm, I'm fucking up, bro. I'm fucking up. But I'm about to be really consistent and get back on the grind, you know what I'm saying? I just got to deal with this school bullshit. And then we're going to be going crazy, man. Um, so yeah, if you last this long, I appreciate you. Uh, make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and leave a comment or whatever you like. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.